Christopher, hey, I appreciate the heads up that you gave me before. Um, I'm still not quite sure, however. Uh, I still have my three. Well, I'll tell you what happens. As you know, I got sick over the last couple of days, actually the last couple of weeks. And so I really put Stephen in charge. And I come back to work, and all of a sudden, there's a bunch of these sticky notes all over my desk. And I'm thinking, what in the world is going on here? And what the team did was make a bunch of suggestions on how to do things better, more efficiently. And I'm thinking, I don't believe this. You know, I gave them strict orders, you know, while I'm away, do this, do this, and do this. And, you know, they did it, but still, communication wasn't so hot because they think things can be done better. Well, you know, I'm a Marine. And so back in the Marine Corps, you know, you're told what to do, you just get it done. So, Christopher, now I'm stuck because I fired all these people and now I don't have a team. I need people who could just follow orders. What do you think? Let me know. Thank you. You fired everyone? Oh, gee whiz, Dr. McNally. Look, one of the most difficult aspects of project management is setting and then managing expectations. You have to be aware of distractions that could be coming your way and help the team manage their time. Now, during the course of a project, taking time off can be tough, even if you've planned it months in advance. One way to stay on path is through a communication plan. Communication plans are not only about talking regularly to your employees, it's also about understanding them. And the more you understand your employees, the more likely it is that they'll be engaged in the work that you would like to have them complete. Having a communication plan means that everyone is on the same page and working towards a clear and common goal. Let's check out the communication plan. We have our three stakeholders, Stephen, Dr. McNally, and Christopher. Stephen likes to make suggestions and he likes efficiency. Dr. McNally wants people to follow orders and he was also sick for two weeks. Christopher enjoys collaborations and encourages diverse viewpoints. So how can we make everyone work together? We do it through frequency of contact through communication platforms. Stephen can communicate daily. Now while Dr. McNally's sick, he can check in bi-weekly. I like people who are open, transparent, honest, and specific. I would recommend apologizing to your team as soon as possible and get them back to work. What do you think the best way to handle the situation is?